uh, database, the, the, the database rate, bid rate. Hello everybody, this is Johnny Wu here with MDI. Today we had a chance to be able to do some testing with the Swift 800 Pro, which is from the company CVW, which is stand for Crystal Video Wireless. This is their new wireless HDMI kit that you can get now available on Amazon, or BH Photo, Photo Video, and other different places. So uh, what I like about this, we're gonna talk about it a little later. So I'm gonna first talk about is, it comes with this very, very, very nice bag, which is a soft shell case. When you open this case, you can see is you're having all the different accessories, the power charger, uh, the cold shoe mount on there, and then over here you have the port for the different antennas. You actually come with five different antennas connectors, even though you only need four. Uh, the manuals here, and then you have the two two empty spots here for the transmitter receiver that you see here. So um, I've been testing this a lot and very, very surprised about the quality and this, the, in, the interface with it. It's very simple. So this device actually have, have HDMI input and also SDI in and out. At the same time, when you look at the screen here, you can see there is a little uh, fan going on. So you have internal fan to keep it cool down, just in case you're going to use it for quite some time. With the battery that we have here, which is the Sony MPF 750 battery, you can probably last about 15 hours or so. So it's kind of very impressive. A device that has very, very low latency of 70, 70 milliseconds, which means that you're going to have a lot of fast response compared when you transmit from the camera to the receiver here. Um, what I know, do like about it is when using it with a Blackmagic Packet 4K, the latency is very very minimal, so you don't have to worry about um, the delay that comes there. And when you do some follow focus, it's going to be, be able to do really well. So I have the transmitter connected to my Black Magic Packet 4K. And from the Black Magic Packet 4K, go to the receiver over here. And it has up to 13 different channels. And you can actually set, uh, manually set the channels, or you can actually have them auto automatically connect the channels. So it's actually pretty good. I have the setting channel number six because I was just playing around and move all the way to six. So now you can see here, the delay is not really that much. It's 70 milliseconds delay. The other thing about this about, I, I kind of found it quite enjoyable is you can actually set to be able to use with the receiver or you can actually transmit to up to four different tablet or mobile phone. So like an iPhone, Android tablet, phone, an iPhone, whatsoever, an iPad, you can just transmit to four. So all you have to do is you can press the mode button here on the, the screen, hold it on for a couple of seconds, and then you, you, you will see the option to say something about RTSP. So when you go to R, RTSP mode, you're gonna make sure that both the uh, transmitter is set out, you can also set a receiver, and then you can be able to use it both with a receiver as well as four different tablets or mobile devices. When you switch to a different mode, you're gonna make sure you turn off the device and turn it back on to be able to, active, to, to connect to the source or activate that, that, the feature. So we're gonna do here a quickly demonstration how to use this with a tablet uh, through the transmitter in here. And obviously, like I mentioned earlier, what you wanna to do to go connect to the tablet or an iPhone or an Android phone, you're gonna make sure you set both uh, the transmitter mode to RTSP. Um, if you don't use the receiver for the monitor screen, you just turn it off. If you want to also be able to use it while using the tablet, you're gonna make sure also the receiver, receiver to be set to RTSP as well. So right now you can see that it is connected and you see there's a much more delay on the receiver part of the device. What I'm gonna do is now connect it to my iPad Pro. Uh, the, the, this, the app to download is called Crystal Vision. When you connect to that, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your Wi-Fi settings and set up the Wi-Fi to the correct Wi-Fi device, which in this case would be something with CW, I'm sorry, CVW something. So when you connect to that, you, you can ask you for a password and then the password is in the manual. It's really simple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can have the choice actually to go in there and change the password you need to. When you, you, act, when you run the program, uh, the connection part of the tab where you're gonna click on it will actually turn red. That means that it's connected. 
And once connected, then you had the signal on on it. So this is what you see it. So I'm going to let you see the different speed of delay wide between the tablet and the monitor. So re remember, the tablet is receiving the signal through the transmitter, which is this one. And this is the receiver is connected to the monitor screen, the 28 monitor screen. And when you're using the RTSP feature, it will have priority first to the tablet. So in this case, if I move the camera a little bit, you can see, you can tell right away. So now you can see that there's less delay. Now you should, hopefully you don't see the ring, light ring in front of you on the reflection of the tablet. But that will give you some idea um, the, 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 the speed delay you have, which means that if you need to do follow focus, and you definitely need to, you, you really want to use the tablet, make sure that you, you understand the delay there is enough here uh, to, to, to help you out. And obviously, if you're going to do a, a critical follow focus tracking, definitely bypass this, go directly to the receiver, turn off the RTSP, so have priority much more to the receiver than anything else. On the tablet feature of apps, uh, software, there's a lot of different feature here. One, one is the live button at the bottom, which means that you can actually connect to Facebook and YouTube directly from the tablet. So basically, speaking is wire transmitting out and receiving on the monitor screen or directly live stream all the way to Facebook or YouTube. Now, keep in mind with this, if you are using a tablet that do not have a cellular uh, feature or options, you're not going to be able to uh, live stream just because you take away the Wi-Fi already to use it connecting to this because you're using a 5.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signals to connect to each other. You won't be able to transmit to internet to the cloud or to the internet. So if you're going to do that, you definitely need to use a uh, cellular device like an iPhone, Android phone to do so. And on above the red live button, there's two options: one for taking a snapshot of the picture or the, the frame; the other is such a recording of information to the iPad or whatever tablet device you have. The app itself is very, very um, basic, but it actually have a lot of different features, including you can do 3D LUT. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, so it's something that I can learn how to use eventually. Monocolor, it hasn't done anything much yet. Uh, false color, so you can actually see whether or not you actually a uh, good exposure or not. Magnify, basically you have a little box that you can can decide where you want to do to, to magnify the, the screen a little bit. I have not figured out yet what to do with frame. Uh, the zebra section actually helps you see whether or not uh, it have lots of hot, hot area around the screen. Then we have the focus picking, then you can see what, where part is, is not picking or your focus. We have the histogram right at the top corner, which actually you can move that little box anywhere you want to do. Or then you have the waveform also, uh, that you, we usually use a lot when we do a lot of filming and do the ETR, which is exposed to the right, so the waveform will help a lot. Now, the also we have two options here. One is for take a screen grab on the screen. So this way you can actually uh, do graffiti if you want to do some information right up. Or, or you can add some no notation that you need to do. So it's kind of good. So let's say when you are on the set and you want to give this information to the director or the editor, you can actually apply those information. You can also do the same thing. You can record screen the, the screen. Uh, to your tablet, and then you can stop it, and then you can play it back and see how it looks. It won't let you do annotation on videos, but it does it for the graphics. The cool thing about also this is you can not only power, power by a battery like a Sony battery, you can also be powered by USB-C port here. So basically from there to a, a power bank, that'd be good. Or you can actually power it through a DC adapter, um, have a, a 36, 7 volt, 7 volt to 30, 36 volt, input and you should be able to do that. So the three way to power each one of this, which is basically speaking, you're going to have unlimited power supply to, to have the transmitter receiver. Uh, independent filmmakers, a vlogger, or for a studio environment where you want to use this in a very low cost perspective. Obviously, this is not comparing to all those high professional Teradex system where you have almost no lag at all. Uh, you're going to have some lag depending on the type of camera you use. When I was using this with the GS5, I actually had more than two second delay uh, with the GA5. And that's not because the device itself, it, but also because the processor on the GA5 is a more uh, data uh, processing machine. So it would take a little bit wider to. The other cool thing about this, you can actually turn the fan on and off by pressing the mode button once and turn it back on. Uh, there is a f uh, audible noise when the fan is on. 
So when you're doing this in a, in, in a room where it's very, very quiet, perhaps like now, um, you, may, me, you may possibly hear the fan noise. I'm having, gonna put this next to the microphone, the, the lab mic. So you, you definitely will be able to hear the noise. Now obviously I can turn the, the van fan off and then you won't be able to hear it. Um, so one thing you gotta keep in mind because if you're gonna use it for quite some time, you wanna keep the fan on or maybe turn it off until you don't you stop using it then you turn it back on again. That can help a little bit to cool down the, the machine itself and it doesn't overheat. Cool, another cool thing I noticed about it is the transmission data bits rate, bit rate. So most of the wireless transmitter system, they don't have a high quality bit rate when transmitting from transmitter to the receiver. With this one, you have up to 25 megabits per second a bit rate to go from the transmitter to receiver, which means that you have a higher quality when transmitting to the monitor screen. You can go up to 1080, uh, 60p fr frame per second. So that's actually pretty good. With the black magic, I didn't have to do anything. I just plug it in, turn it on, and in a few seconds later, it's connected. With the GS5, however, I need to make sure the output of GS5, I need to set to 1080 instead of auto. Which by using auto, it will not be able to transmit. So I need to set it to, to uh, 1080 to be able to transmit from the transmitter to the receiver. So that's something you want to keep in mind if you're using different cameras. Uh, if nothing's no signal coming out, make sure you check your camera to make sure it has the right outputs uh, outside HDMI out uh, information resolution and so on. So that will help a little bit more. Now the distance between this transmitter and receiver is up to 800 feet. I think that's a one of the uh, one that I know that of this price range that can go that far. So that means that you can go from here all the way outside the street and so on. Now keeping that in mind that 800 feet means line of sight, which means that from the distance of you can see the transmitter to, to the receiver, that distance is how much uh, far away you can go. Um, to, to see the receive, receive images. If you're in a house like this and you go through walls, you're not gonna get 800 feet, that's for sure. So you keep that in mind when you sit um, in an environment like in a house or in a big studio where you wanna be in a different walls and so on and so on. So this is a quick quick uh, demonstration and review. Uh, personally, I do definitely like this. The price for this is $680 on Amazon. And you should definitely be able to pick it on Amazon, BH, and other different places, or directly from CVW, their website. So it will be linked in the description. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask uh, in the comment below, and then I'll be happy to try my best to answer to you. We'll see ya.